What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm one Eye Bri back to talk about an interesting theory that we came up with after a bunch of people were talking about an interesting idea that RJ may not be there. So the RJ theory, the ghost baby theory, whatever you want to call it, spoiler warning for season nine, episode six. I don't want to ruin anything for you. Well, episode 905 as well, but episode 905 and 906, spoiler warning. If you haven't seen those, I don't want to ruin anything for you. But if you love The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead family, please hit that subscribe button to the PT channel to join our Walking Dead family. We have a lot of fun here. And if you love The Walking Dead, this is the channel for you. Obviously, photo credit to AMC and The Walking Dead. Just giving credit where credit is due. Now, if you saw episode 906, you saw Michonne holding a child. And I apologize if I call him a baby, but sometimes it just slips up. But I know he's a child. RJ. Baby RJ is just easy for me to say. But the child Michonne is holding. Is RJ real? Michonne calls the child RJ, but no one else interacts with RJ. Magna doesn't mention RJ. Judith doesn't recognize RJ. No one does except Michonne. Now, obviously, Michonne could have had the baby because there was baby talk back in season nine, episode three, I believe. We saw Rick and Michonne making out a little bit and then probably trying to make a baby to build for the future and civilization. Then we had a major time jump, six years, so Michonne could definitely got pregnant and had the baby. And the baby could be two, three, five, six years old potentially by the time of this. Rick's been gone for six years is the timeline. Rick and Michonne potentially made a baby here. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But the big thing is that we had a lot of hallucinations in episode 905 by Rick. Rick saw this, and it didn't happen. Rick saw Shane, saw Herschel, saw Sasha, saw a bunch of people that weren't dead, that were still alive, but Rick was losing blood, a lot of blood. So that's probably the cause for his hallucinations. He also had a big hallucination of Michonne, where Michonne actually kisses him. And you need to wake up, she said. So Michonne wasn't connected with this. This was all in Rick's mind. So that really doesn't have anything to do with Rick. But the writers love to keep an idea in your mind for later use as well. So the writers could be like, Rick's hallucinating. Why doesn't Michonne hallucinate as well? When Rick was laying here, he had the hallucinations of everyone coming to save him and Michonne kissing him. And again, that has nothing to do with Michonne. Rick is gone, but Michonne had a really rough experience, a traumatic experience. She could be dealing with some PTSD right now for the past five years since Rick's been gone. So that definitely could play a factor. Her hallucinations could be happening. So Michonne could be thinking of the future that she wanted to have. There's a big thing in the episode that definitely clues it in that RJ may not be real. Are you with me? Are you buying into it? Are you believing it? I'm 50-50 on it, but we'll have to wait and see what the writers want to do. RJ could be there or he could not be there. But clearly Michonne was talking to Rick several times. She started the episode off talking to Rick by the bridge, and she probably has been there more than once. Her dialogue, her monologue was about the future, how it is, it's tough, she's not giving up, but she was talking to Rick most likely. In her mind, she might be seeing Rick as well. Remember back in season three with Rick and Lori, hallucinations there? It could come back around. Remember, Angela Kang wants season nine to feel like prior seasons. And remember, there was ghost Lori with Rick and Lori wasn't there. Michonne could be doing the same thing. But let's talk about when Magna was going to break into Michonne's house, I guess potentially kill Michonne, but she stops herself. So she looks in the window. She sees Michonne in a robe. She's washing a plate. And then Michonne comes around and picks up RJ. You hear Michonne call her son RJ. So either way, if the son is real, it's named RJ. So we don't have to worry about the name. It's probably Rick Jr. It just makes sense. But ultimately, Magna is looking in the window and she sees Michonne. She could just be seeing Michonne talking to herself and no one else is there. Magna looks in the window. She sees Michonne bend down and pick up RJ, theoretically. Again, she could just be seeing Michonne by herself in the kitchen. Michonne is in the kitchen. Magna sees her. Magna is like, all right, I don't want to kill these people. Maybe she sees the child. 
maybe she sees Michonne just not being the right mindset. And she's like, I don't want to do this. But it makes the most sense is that Magnus saw RJ and Michonne and we're like, wow, she's got a kid. She's probably a great person. I don't want to hurt a mom. So that makes more sense. But again, this is just a theory. But then Magna talks with Michonne by the doorstep and she doesn't say anything about RJ or anything. And basically the point is made that Magna has done some things in her past and so has Michonne and they kind of bond a little bit. And then Magna shuts the door, Michonne turns around and sees Judith. Judith Grimes, what are you doing? It was actually a nice moment and I really like that about the episode. But Judith Grimes is sitting up there on the step and she's like, why don't you want to help those people? And I think my father would want me to help those people. And it's a nice bonding moment. You mentioned Rick and it's just a nice moment. But then... Judith walks down the steps and she's holding her gun. That was formerly Rick's gun, but now it's Judith's gun and the sheriff toy. And she walks down the steps and I just love the picture right there. You're like, wow, Judith, you're really packing heat. You're really gonna protect Michonne. And that's pretty cute. And I love Judith already and hopefully she becomes a big character of the series. But Judith walks down and she talks with Michonne. And the dialogue here is pretty important because it's funny that Judith brings up the point that I can't remember what they sound like. I can't remember what Rick sounds like and Carl sound like, and she doesn't want to lose that. And she basically says that she hears Michonne talking to Rick and Carl. Rick and Carl are gone. Michonne is talking to Rick and Carl. Michonne's psyche and her mind is definitely out there. And remember the part when Judith walks up the steps in her house and Michonne is talking to someone in the bedroom. No one is in the room. She's most likely talking to Rick or Carl, and Judith knows that. That's probably happening every day. And Judith is stepping quietly. She doesn't want to make any noise. She doesn't want to distract Michonne talking to whoever she's talking to. Again, it's probably Rick and or Carl, and it's probably a common occurrence. But again, Carl is gone, and so is Rick, but yet Michonne is talking to them. Judith said that to Michonne, and Judith is okay with it. Judith puts down the sheriff toy, and then walks back up the steps. The sheriff toy is zoomed in on, and it's pretty interesting that she found a sheriff toy. It's clearly a callback to Rick and season three Rick when Rick's on the bus at the prison, and that's the photo art, and that's what it is. They said that on The Talking Dead, and it's pretty interesting. And then Judith goes up the steps, and then we see RJ. RJ comes running in to Michonne and says, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, and it's very cute. And no one else interacts with RJ. Judith doesn't say, Good night, RJ. Good night, Michonne. She just walks up the steps. So again, RJ could be in Michonne's mind. It could be a figment of Michonne's imagination. Remember, Michonne had a traumatic experience. She lost really the love of her life as Rick and Michonne were together for a long time. So they clearly loved each other and they were planning to have a baby. And so Michonne could have had the baby or maybe she lost the baby or never got pregnant to begin with. Maybe she's just hallucinating or imagining the baby or child at this point that Rick and Michonne should have had together. Also, the X on Michonne's body is pretty interesting. Did Michonne do this to herself to feel close to Rick and to be connected with Rick? Because to me, it's in the same exact spot or pretty, pretty close to the same exact spot that Rick was wounded. He landed on the rebar on his back pretty much on the same exact spot. So is that pretty much what Michonne was doing? X marks the spot? Not sure. I, we don't know, there's no way to tell. It could be that Michonne got into a fight with some saviors or another group or something over the six year time jump and she was branded or wounded or something, but the placement of the X is very interesting. Also, if you kind of picked up something, I feel I heard it twice in the episode, but definitely heard it once with Father Gabriel and Rosita when they were talking. And I think Rosita said, you know, since, and they didn't really explain, is it since Rick went away, Michonne had the baby, Michonne lost the baby, Michonne snapped? What's the since? Hopefully we'll find out this week, next week, sometime this season, because I don't like loose ends and you know what loose ends do. But let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm interested to know, what do you make of the RJ theory? the ghost baby theory, whatever you want to call it, because I could see it being RJ is real or RJ is not real. And the fact that Michonne was talking to Rick and Carl and they're not there shows me that RJ could be a figment of Michonne's imagination and her mindset. 
So let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. If you like the theory and you wanna find out more videos, hit that subscribe button, become a valued member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family. And remember guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself, you can do it.